Monsters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Alan Homosassa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not <laughs> counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Bruce and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay and I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Welcome to October, folks. It's a beautiful thing. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 583. You get the NASDAQ up 135, S&P's up 60, gold contract up a buck and a half, 1758 an ounce. You got silver up 49 cents, twenty-two dollars fifty-four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up sixty-six cents, seventy-five dollars sixty-nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up eighteen ticks, trading at one thirty-two oh five. The thirty-year up a full point, plus three ticks at one sixty ten. And King Dollar, King Dollar is down one hundred eighty-eight ticks, trading at ninety-four oh four. Euro one fifteen, yen one ten ten, and the British pound at one thirty-five to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, what you have here, folks, is that we got down to our benchmark. You rejected lower price and you had lighter volume. It's a nice setup, man. Okay. Uh, bottom line, this is telling me that we are going to basically be in a consolidation. So what we have with the SPY is this. So your benchmark out here was that, uh, what is it, the 17th? Yeah. We were dealing with 19th of July. So the low of the 19th and the um, SPY is 421. The high is 431. We got down to 427. And what you're going to see here, and I talked about this on the update, is this. Is that we were coming down hard yesterday. You are going down into your high volume low. We had the high volume low at 166 million. That high volume low price, project, price was 428. We got down yesterday to 428. We did 140 million versus the 186. Now watch how this goes. This is pretty cool, man. Today we're going to do less than that. You're coming into the benchmark. The benchmark is 147 million. And you can see right now, if you're watching Tiger TV, we're only at 91 million. So we're going to do probably about 100, 105 million. So what we're going to have here is this. You're going to have a rejection of lower price. You're going to have lighter volume and the bounce is on. And what, what, I, what I'd like you to get out of this more than anything is the way that we came down to yesterday into the benchmark. Because what happens is this. What I've found is this. If you get volume that comes out before the bottom of the benchmark, the bottom line, and, and what I'm talking about is the prior day or the day before, is that the market gets tired, folks, okay? So the selling was exhausted because we did come down five days in a row. That's, that's how this goes. Came down hard, you get a bounce at light volume, it came down hard again. I suspect this one here, this one here, man, could, we can bounce all the way up to 448 
on that SPY. My tank is still, we're still going lower, but this is going to be a good bounce. We'll come, we got window dressing happening. There's, there's action happening. This will be a decent bounce. We take a look, excuse me, we take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs are set up the exact same way. What you have with the three Qs is this. Your ABC structure on the way down is 352. We come to 354, same deal. Yesterday we came down, you came down with 61 million. You're going into your benchmark that had 64. What we have here is that we have 44 right now. You'll probably do 54, so watch how this goes. 54 is gonna be less than yesterday, 61. It's gonna be less than your benchmark, 64. The top of the benchmark is 355. We went down to 354.38. You rejected lower price. You had lighter volume, the bounce is on. On the Qs, the Qs can go bounce all the way right back up to this uh, 379. Bottom line, folks, you get a tradable market here in a big way. Gold contract, what do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract, sideways move out here today. You had wide price spread yesterday. You had accelerated volume. Gold broke its downtrend. Right now you're at 1757.90. And looking at that, what you're gonna see, it's a decisive break, thank God, for small and big miracles. And gold wants to make a run now to 1836. Silver, we take a look at the silver market. They just, <laughs> the silver market, man, is something else, man. I don't trade silver at all, folks. And, and Well, you can see just why, okay? The bottom line is that, you know, <laughs> silver is just a different animal. Bottom line is that, you know, if we go back to Wednesday, Wednesday, what ends up happening? Silver goes from 22.56 to 21.40 in about two seconds. Yesterday, I gained some back. Today, guess what? It's peaking its head up, man. Hasn't broken the downtrend yet, but it's awful close to breaking that downtrend. Notes and bonds, they also want higher price. I got the 10-year note right now. We got down to a low today of 131.24. Right now, you're trading out at a price point of uh, 132.04. We came into, let's bring this up. Okay, so what we did is this, okay? We get down to the price point of 131.07. Uh, the note and bond market, where we're, we're gonna be watching this like a hawk, is got ICE folks is set up at 132.27. And, you know, we'll see, it's gonna be really hard to make it through there. That's, that's the real bottom line. Um, you know, we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, the 10 year right now is yielding 1.46, and then let's go to King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. And we have a King Dollar out here. King Dollar right now is 94.04. Now, what's going to be cool about King Dollar, so check this out, especially if you're in the metals market, is that it looks to me like we, we, we number one, we didn't make it to the 94.742. And number two, we, yeah, we haven't failed yet. We haven't failed yet. Because the two, there's two swings. Yeah, no, I'd say we haven't failed yet. The, 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 so here, let me show you why, folks. So, one of the, the major swing was the was the swing going back to the week of uh, the twentieth of August. That high there was ninety three seven twenty nine. Now it got over a swing, okay? But and this is all uh, subjective for sure, okay? And when I'm showing you the, these types, the, these two swings, because it's it's hard to tell. It's like, okay, hey, man. You know, the, the, the 94302 is a swing. There's no doubt about that. The reason that I'm not so excited about it is that it really should, I would have liked it to make up to 94740. And then, you know, clarity-wise, that is a, is a swing for sure, meaning before you go much higher. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is right now up 611. You get the NASDAQ up 148. S&Ps are up 63. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. Uh, strength today, Merck. Merck uh, is up to 9.5%, uh, $7.33. Disney's up 4.5%, uh, $7.80. American Express is up 4.5%, uh, $7.35. And Visa is up 3.8, or uh, $8.51. Taken away from it, you have uh, Walmart is down... Uh, yeah, $1.79, uh, 1%, and that's about it. Uh, so putting the points structure into the, into the Dow Industrials, it's, uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> this is pretty funny. I'm, I'm over it here. i got to do this again. I'm over in London right now. <laughs> that's all right. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. It's going to be the same the same numbers I gave you. but it, Okay, so you get Visa putting 54 points in, uh, positive Disney 50, American Express 48 taken away. You get Walmart 11. That's about it. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have? Inside the NDX, you have Marriott is up 5.4%. You got Bookings.com up 3.7. You get Delta, uh, Dollar Tree rather, up 3.2. And CGN is up 2.9. Taken away from it, Moderna. Moderna is down 10.10%. Uh, $39. Regeneron's off 5.5. JD.com is off 2.9. You get Pindo Duo off 2.9. Six. Now let's go over. Let's go look at Moderna first, okay? Because we, what we have is this: is that Moderna getting whacked out here today? Because what you had is you had Merck come out uh, with a test result that uh, they have a pill that uh, bottom line is that uh, helps you pretty tremendously uh, if you have COVID from not going in the hospital. That being said, it was only a fifty percent deal, but hey, fifty percent is fifty percent. Market wise, out here, uh, the bottom line is it took Moderna south. And now Moderna's on an ABC structure on the way down. And so let's figure this out, okay? So Moderna, your A point is 458. Your B is 376. Oh, it's a beauty. Okay. So I get 80 bucks. That gets you to 320 approximately. Oh, look at that, man. Bang. This is cool, man. Okay, so check this out. So well, what just happened here... And one day, Moderna finished, well, it did an ABC structure down and it finished it. And you, what you're also going to see is that it came into its high, last time with high volume. Now, the top of the high volume is 342, the bottom is 292. You know, I suspect that what this is going to do now, folks, is throw it into a consolidation. 
you know, uh, you'll be bouncing back and forth. That's that's kind of how this uh, baby shakes out. We go take a look at uh, Merck. Merck is the one that came out. Well, they didn't come out with the pill. They finished a, a study, uh, and what the study? Let me get it exactly what the study says here. Okay, so. The Merck shares uh, posted the biggest gain in 12 years after the company's uh, experimental pill slashed the risk of getting seriously ill or dying from COVID-19 in a study. Findings that could eventually yield a simple way to treat many virus patients before they ever reach the hospital. Um, the drug, uh, the name, uh, I'll butcher the name so it's not worth it, uh, reduced the risk of hospitalizations or death by 50%. In an interim analysis of a late stage clinical trial, uh, the study results were so encouraging that Merck and closely held Ridgeback in consultation with an independent trial monitors and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration um, elected to stop enrolling patients and begin the process of gaining regulatory client uh, clearance. So what you had happen there, folks, is that um, when that got announced, Merck went to the moon. The rest of these uh, basically pulled back. Let's go take a look at Merck and see where we're at here. So. There's no doubt that's a nice move on Merck. Merck, 80, 83.71. Okay, so it made it to the swing of 83.71. Um, you know, we'll see what this is gonna, how this is going to shake out. You know, the, the high out in Merck here is uh, 88. This is a big move. There's no doubt. If we put this on a monthly, we take a look at the monthly. Um, well, hmm. Not as impressive on the monthly. Okay, it's going to need some big volume. Because on the monthly, what you have is this. On the monthly, we came down with 263 million shares. So we'll see how this shakes out at the end of the month. But the, the benchmark that you want to watch here is $85.65. That is going to be the number that uh, is going to give it some flack as that little baby uh, has got into higher price. Uh, so check this out, man. This, this is, this, this, I was reading a story today in the New York Times, right? Let me see if I can get this. Or is it? Okay, I'll find it in the next break. It, what it's about, it, it's about a media firm. And thank God they're not public or this guy would be in jail, man. <laughs> that, it, it, there's going to be a lot of fallout on this. Um, yeah, when, when, when I, I'll find it during the break. Uh, but it's quite a story. <laughs> it's, it's, it has to do with the aspect of, uh, you know, getting investors on a call with YouTube and it was a fake call, and they had someone on the other end. Um, yeah, it's OZY. But they're, they're not public, right? No. OZ. I, think, I, I, th I believe that he's raised money, but uh, that's it. No, yeah. But the, the, the bottom line, he's, he's a bigger player out there, but the bottom line is it's all a bunch of crap. <laughs> that's the real bottom line. The, what blows my mind uh, is that they actually were so blatant about it. Hey, it's just crazy, man. You read the story, it's like hard to comprehend. He's lucky he's not public. That's the real bottom line. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at a few of the big dogs out here and see what kind of bounce they're going to get. We take a look at the uh, Amazon. Amazon's flat. Ooh, that's saying a lot. Amazon's flat. Interesting. Uh, Apple. Uh, Apple's getting a bounce out of here. Uh, we, we take a look at Apple and what you have... A, a, and we have what Apple, Apple has rejected a uh, lower price at a price point of uh, 139. And you're going to see that your breakout, breakout is actually a little lower than that. Your breakout was like 130, well, 137. Um, and we'll see what kind of a bounce Apple can get going. I mean, a realistic, it could get up to maybe 148. But you got to be careful with Apple. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be buying Apple. That's the real bottom line. Uh, and, the, and the reason being is that uh, this thing came off the highs with volume. So I suspect what you're going to see is this, is that you're going to see this kink come up to that area, come into some big flack, reject price, and you get a consolidation uh, that's in place. Facebook, we're going to take a look at Facebook out here. Where is Facebook? Okay, so Facebook right now, that's trading. I don't know how buys either there. Uh, you, you got it up. It's coming back into the bottom of consolidation. Same, same type of setup, though. You know, this is uh, Facebook has a, it's high, has no volume, so this thing's not going anywhere. Netflix, NFLX, 
Little different story on Netflix. Now, I suspect what we're going to have with Netflix is that we're going to get a failure. But let's just see how this check shook out. Okay, so five. Well, we don't have a failure right now. Fa failure has to be 593. That's how that comes down to. Let's go to Robert in Texas. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Hello, Tom. I'm, would you take a look, please, at Wheat and Precious Metals? It's been dropping like a stone. Yeah, they all have. September. <laughs> And uh, uh, I'm looking to see if, there, if you think uh, we may be near a bottom on this. Absolutely. Stay right there. We're going to be right back. We're going to take a look at wheat and precious metals and the low for the year out here. Probably today. Uh, no, much. Okay. Low's $34. The high's 51 Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 552. You get the NASDAQ up 124. S&Ps are up 54. We're talking with uh, Robert, and we're talking about uh, wheat and precious metals. Now, do you, do you own this? We're looking to buy it. Okay, I guess I don't have them. Uh, so let's go through it. So, we, okay, so what we have here, so first off, with wheat and precious metals, folks, is, is this. They say they're a streamer, and they are, but the bottom line is that they're mostly uh, silver. silver. They're actually a silver broker. Uh, that's how they make a huge amount of their money. And when I say a silver broker, what ends up happening is that they do deals with silver companies, 
They make money on the gross of the silver, make money on the brokerage of it. Uh, bottom line, you can see how silver <laughs> was getting smashed, as gold was. Uh, that being said, what Wheat and Precious Metals has just done is that it broke its swing, and it, it broke it with lighter volume. So I think 13, it's, it's actually going to be the same. Uh, but then it came into its breakout area with 17 million versus 13 this week. So I suspect you're now you're going to get a bounce out of it. Uh, if you if you know if you're looking to buy it, I wouldn't. Wheaton's not that strong. If you have it, just hold it. I suspect this Wheaton can get back up to this. Uh, let's see, where is some volume? Here? Forty-seven bucks. So that, that's a good bounce. There's no doubt. It's only thirty-six bucks right now, so it's a big number. Okay, so I was talking about. Listen, listen to this, man. This is this is this just blows my mind. It really blows my mind because, of course, we're in the media business, right? And why do you hear what this guy got away with? This is unbelievable, actually. What's unbelievable about it is that he, well, here, let me explain what he did. So this is Aussie media. And what happened is that the guy evidently had a, a good program going, a half-hour program. It was a big program. Advertisers got on it. But this is what he did first. First, he was, he was calling all these producers for a half-hour program, by the way. We do seven hours of program. And anyway, the bottom line is that he's calling producers, saying to the producers, number one, that he's going to be on AMC and he's got a good slot. But yet he didn't want any of these other producers to call AMC, and a couple of these producers had relationships with AMC. That's the first part. But where the big scam also came in, well, and first off, he wasn't going to be on AMC. Then he was claiming that he was going to also be on YouTube Originals. So that YouTube was actually paying him. He wasn't going to be on that either. And, but check this out. This is what's amazing. This is the... He had monster advertisers. Okay, they're all pulling out right now. Like, it just, we just, another single line just went across it. LA Financial just pulled out. Uh, Ford Motor Company. Airbnb. Uh, Target, okay. Uh, Goldman Sachs, okay. Man, he got everyone. And listen to this, though. This, this is what's really crazy. He, he set up calls. And he set up calls. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. So he set up calls, impersonated a YouTube executive on a conference call with potential investors. Okay? Bottom line, you know, this is where it's just <laughs> amazing to me. Um, that you can get even these big dudes uh, get toasted and roasted pretty quick. Um, you know, check out the article, folks, because there, there were a couple big companies that did their due diligence, and when they did their due diligence, when they called up YouTube, YouTube saying, no, man, we, we didn't produce this show. We're not paying for this show, period. And so the bottom line, he was just like we are out in YouTube, and he probably collected uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars because you're talking about monster advertisers out here. Pretty wild. Some of the higher volume equities that we have in this market out here today. Uh, we've talked about Merck. That's up $7. You get Carnival up a buck. I'm going to look at some of these uh, travel stocks. You get American Express, American Airlines up a buck 13. Uh, Microsoft's up $7, man. See, the Microsoft, this is where this gets cool, folks, is that, you know, you've heard this many times. So, you always want to be buying the strongest stocks. And I, you know, I had kept bringing up Microsoft because it was the strongest stock in the market on the way up as, as that was going down. Well, the bottom line is that, you know, you got back to, we get to 280? Yeah, I get to 281. See, all of these, they got to where they basically had some volume. Now the question is going to be how far can they go higher? Now, this is going to be the same with Microsoft, meaning, uh, to me, as, as the market. This is only a bounce. But look at the size of the bounce, man. It's really wild. $7, right? And Microsoft can get up to, like, $294. And right now, you're at $288. You know? So, I suspect what we're going to see here is you're going to, you're going to go higher. You're going to build uh, some ABC stru structures on the way down. This very well could be the B to a C of another ABC structure on the way down. That's kind of how this uh, seems to be laying out. Uh, King Dollar, we're going to be watching King Dollar really closely because of the metals market. My take is that the metals have bottomed. That's the real bottom line. You know, we'll see, we'll see if that's the case. 
Um, they, they caught a good bid. They need follow through, though. That's that's the real bottom line. They definitely need follow through. And we'll see whether that dollar fails. What we had is this. When the dollar was hitting all time highs, these the euro got smoked in a big way and the euro is just flat right now. The euro is 115 that simultaneously the pound got smoked, but the pound took it back in spades. The pound, what had happened, the pound had gone from uh, 139 down to 134, and today we just went from 134 and went 135.5. So the pound actually just got back inside its high, let's see, one th now it needs 20 more ticks to get back inside its higher range. The higher range is 135.72. And then the yen, the yen was going our way, is going our way, Inside the metals market, what the yen did, the yen, uh, the yen had a nice breakout. Now, that breakout more than likely was that they have a new prime minister over there. Market liked it, got a little excited. That being said, you get a major failure on the, on the, on the yen. Um, and what was gonna, what's going to be cool watching this is that to see if whether this was actually a triple top. It's pretty clean how it's set up. You get the first top out here at 110.97. Uh, that was the week of uh, April uh, 7th. Then you get the next one out here, 111.66. That was the week of February. And then we got this one. And this one failed in a big way. The bottom line is that we got over the 111.66. Uh, You're at 111.06. That's saying we're going to go right back down the other side. When you get a failure like this, you can actually ex expect that you might get to 107. So we're, we're talking about some real numbers uh, on the way down. That's how this baby... Uh, looks to me like it, it's shaken out. We got to take a look at, uh, oh, I know. Let's see. We had a couple questions about the uh, Aniko Eagle. Is it Aniko Eagle that someone wants to buy? Hold on one second. AEM. Okay. So let's go take a look at Aniko Eagle. Aniko Eagle, uh, folks, is buying AEM, is buying Kirkland Lake. And Aniko Eagle right now, oh, look at this. So that's backing down. Let's see what this is doing. Okay. So. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, no, I wouldn't buy Nico right here. Yeah. What so the reason I won't buy it is this. So I I understand, yeah, they're gonna buy Kirkland. I, I love Nico Eagle. I've owned it a lot of times, okay? Uh, but that high volume low right there, that has to get tested, man. Something's gonna happen that day. I wanna see that 4920 get tested. Um I, I don't like and I don't get near any high volume lows, folks. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> ever. Ever, ever, ever. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up a 528 with the Nasdaq up 122. S&P's up 52. Our guest today, folks, is Sharon Ferguson. Sharon is the CEO of Fansaves. Fansaves is a digital platform that features discounts and deals from sponsors, affiliated brands, sports teams, organizations, uh, all of the above. Their website is fansaves.com. Sharon, welcome to TFNN. Hi, Tom. Shannon here. From, Shannon, from sorry. Fansaves. Shame on <laughs> it's me. All good. It's all good. You know, you know, it's pretty so bad. Nice. You know, it's pretty bad about that. My my niece is Shannon, and I'm Irish, so I, <laughs> I should know Shannon upside down. Shame on me. So, <laughs> hey, like tell tell us tell us about Fan Saves. Tell us how this works. Yeah, sure. So, Fan Saves is a digital platform that offers fans discounts and deals from sponsors of their favorite teams. And basically, um, my co-founder and I were working in minor professional hockey selling sponsorship. And we recognized, um, and this was four years ago, and we recognized that a lot of businesses uh, in the community actually wanted more out of their sponsorship than just a ring board or scoreboard ad. They wanted something that was digital that they could actually drive people in and track analytics and demographics. So that's how the idea of Fancies came about. And uh, yeah, we've been growing across North America ever since. So the figure is that you're an advertising business. I, you know, and I learned a long time ago. So, so picture this, Shannon. This is, this is a crazy story. I've been doing this since 1994. I've been on the air. And my neighbor, um, I had just moved to this place, and I didn't know this guy owned one of the biggest advertising agencies in the, in the country. So he asked me what business I was in. I told him, he says, oh, I feel sorry for you. He says, people don't buy advertising, you sell it. <laughs> right? I mean, we, we know how this goes, which is, it's really cool. I just want to get the aspect of how I can see how you got here. There's no doubt about that. So what type of money do fans save? How does, how, how does that work? Let's, uh, let's say that, you know, I'm going to, you know, I don't know, Florida State or something like this. How, how would it work? Yeah, so how it works, you can think of fancy as like Instagram meets Groupon, but for sports teams and organizations. So you download the free app or go to our website and sign up for your free account. Yes. And then you follow your favorite teams um, or community organizations. Okay. Um, and once you follow them, you have access to different deals from their sponsors. So say Pizza Hut is a sponsor, yes. you actually get a deal from Pizza Hut. So 10% off or a free slice or anything nice. like that, that really drives fans into their uh, their business, which if you think about the last you know sporting event you went to or watched, you on, watched on TV, you know everyone knows there's sponsors all over the walls and the boards and the field and the ice, but we all know that once the game is over, you're remembering who won, who lost, how you felt during the game. You're not remembering who those sponsors are, and that's what fan saves is really helping with. Nice. So let me ask you, you know, I'm sure that you got to stay on the phone quite a bit. How do you get sponsors outside of calling, calling, calling? I guess that's what you have to so do, it's right? Actually our <laughs> well, actually, our business model is really unique. So we don't actually have to have boots on the ground. Um, ourselves in the cities of the teams that we're working with. So we actually, our customers are the teams. And 
they add things into their sponsorship packages because they already have those relationships and those sponsorship opportunities. Nice. No, I, I see. I just, I, I think we might have just lost. Into those sponsorship packages along with, well, can you hear me? I have you now. Yes, I do. Oh, no. That's, I hope we're you good. can hear me. Can we're good. I have you. We have you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so the website, folks, is fansaves.com. Okay. Check it out. Um, nice idea, man. This is, this is definitely a nice idea. There's no doubt about it. I wanted to ask her. If you remember, depending on how long you've been listening, if she, she came out of the Canadian uh, Minor Hockey League. And uh, I, we, had, we still have a lot, a lot of listeners in Canada. And uh, it was pretty cool, no doubt, the, uh, if you remember... I forgot what the name of the cup was that we had everyone voting in uh, for. Um, okay, we have a back. Shannon. <laughs> right. I, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened, but That's okay. I'm back. I'm here. That's okay. We have you back. Um, but. I'm not sure where I lost you, but I no, know that, I that's No, that's a nice setup. No, I can you, you, you were explaining that when you get the team, you're going to get the sponsors with it. So, like me, if I sign up and I get the team, then I, then I can go to Pizza Hut, I can go somewhere else. That, that's really, that's a great idea. I mean, I think it's fabulous. So, and, you know, there's no yeah, doubt. So, like, their sponsorship. Yes. And, sure. and there's no doubt that, I mean, I would say that, you know, when you have fans with teams, they like to sponsor them, right? I mean, you, you like to follow them, you like to t take care of them. Yeah, and, and I, I can see if you come out of a good game, and, you know, particularly myself, I like to basically take care of the people that are taking care of w what we like. That's what it comes down to. You, you know, you talk about a small world. I know you come out of the minor league, but we have a lot of listeners in Canada also, and... Uh, I forget, it's it's Kraft. Kraft runs something for the AAA every year, the big, like, uh, whatever um, AAA city can uh, get the most votes, uh, they get uh, a new rank or something. And so for three or four years in a row, this goes back like seven or eight years, we, we front-loaded uh, this deal. It was great because what ended up happening, the listeners up in Canada, all the hockey players, they're calling down here. I have everyone voting down here, right? It was it was great. I mean, it was, you know, because of course their town was so excited because I think that it was, you know, there were, there were smaller towns and there was a there was a good prize at the end of the prize. And so going, fo that. going forward, what are you looking for going forward? Yeah, so you kind of hit the nail on the head. What we're really doing is creating the first couponing network. So we're giving fans a way to really come together and support those sponsors. So right now, uh, we've proven our product in you know the minor leagues, um, and we're 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 in discussions with major league teams. We we're just in in Florida, um, you know, talking with a bunch of teams down there. So for us, Florida is is huge. Growing in Tampa. Champa Bay, of course, sure. um, is so big with all the schools and the amazing pro teams. Um, getting a footprint um, in Tampa is really on our on our list. Yeah, you only need a couple of these Florida teams, man. I mean, I've been here for 25 years, but these Florida schools, they are so huge. It's like, it's amazing. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Collegiate athlete, collegiate athletics uh, are definitely big on our list as well because you know those schools and the, their teams they have sponsors. But again, students, why do students care who's sponsoring a team unless again if they're getting a deal? So yeah, <laughs> it's a, hey, listen, it's a great concept. I wish you a lot of luck. I'd love to have you on again, and uh, hopefully you're going to be ringing that bell at the Nasdaq in three or four years. That's the goal, and uh, we'll definitely uh, let you in on that, and we'll have you, we'll have you there if it happens. That's a beautiful thing. Well, Shannon, you have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to having you on again. Thank you so much, and have a great day. You also. Have a great one. Have a safe one. It's a great idea. I mean, you, you know what's pretty amazing um, is that, you know, even the website, folks, fansaves.com, you know, the, and, and out of that whole idea, to me, what is ex kind of what she explained, that you get the team, and then the team has all these sponsors, and then the, the sponsors will give away something. And that's that's how, that's how it's shaking out. Dow Industrial's up 513, NASDAQ up 117, S&P's up 51. Uh, fansaves.com, that's, that's uh, uh, Shannon's uh, website, folks. Stay right there, folks, come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 583. You get the NASDAQ up 146. S&P's up 60. And, you know, we're just talking about uh, sports. And um, one of our Tigers, um, you know, and this child is nine years old now, right? It's... Uh, Levi, that's his name, and a lot of you Tigers know his father, uh, Jeff from New York. The thing that's wild, man, so they, they're just, uh, Jeff was just saying that they had a great experience in a minor league game two weeks ago. It was Levi's birthday. They got him in the whole stadium to sing happy birthday to him. Well, I want all these Tigers and Tigers out here. We wish you, Levi, happy birthday. You know, time is an amazing thing, folks, okay? It's the one thing you can't get back. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Pay attention to it. Pay attention to life. Look at the sky. Look at the stars. Look at the water. Grab it, okay? Because guess what? Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? And nine years ago, okay, when, when that baby was born, he put a picture in the den. It's so cool. And just like that, nine years later, pretty intense, man. Got to love it. You got to love it. Market-wise out here, we get a good bounce going. That's the that's the bottom line. We're going to see out here, and market-wise, I suspect, you know, you're, you're window dressing, you're at the beginning of the month, you came down, you came down to your benchmark, had some good juice behind the move. What we're going to see, let's kind of see what we're going to see on the weekly. So this is what's going to happen on the weekly, more than likely. We're going to see, we're going to have volume. Yeah, you are. Okay, so watch how this shakes out, folks. So this bar here, because we came down so hard in the queues, you get 310 million, okay? 
it's a high volume bar, and you were hitting a high volume bar. We were going into uh, okay, so you're going into three thirty eight, and you did it with uh, three ten, right? So the the bounce is on, but what will more than likely see in the next couple of weeks, you get the bounce, you have a big contraction of volume, then you're gonna come right back down and you're gonna test this level out. We're gonna take a look at the SPY, what do we have inside the SPY? We'll put that on a weekly also. SPY right now is up $5.42. And you're gonna have the yeah, same thing with SPY. Same thing, same setup. Uh, we came into uh, 522 million. You did that with, uh, look at that, 523. You're coming. It's a good bounce, but you're coming back down. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning, 9 o'clock. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks.